guys, ZTank99 here, and welcome to another episode of Darby's The History. Sorry for not being able to be uploading so far in the last week, it's just I haven't been, haven't had real much time, and I was just dealing with shit, you know, you know how it is, just being a teenager in a, um, really confused world, <laughs> just the struggles. But anyways, yes, we are back with the series, and, um, what do you guys think of the intro? Brand new, the intro made for Darby's The History. Hopefully, it's not going to be like that. Hopefully, it gets better. But, but then again, what can you do? That's what I best I can do right now. So, coming into this, we are now watching, doing the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest rivalry in English football. Manchester United versus Liverpool. The, it is the biggest, it, it's even considered the biggest club game in the world, even bigger than El Clasico. And obviously, going, we go into the history and all that, and so, actually, let's start to go into that. So, as I said before, this is the biggest in the world, and it is so big. They are the two of the most successful clubs in English football. Combined, they have won 38 league titles, 18 for Liverpool, and 20 for United, and 8 European Cups, 3 for United, and 5 for Liverpool, and 12, 12 league Cups, I can't split that because really, really cares about it. So this entire rivalry between Liverpool and Manchester actually goes further than the football pitch. People from Liverpool in, in Merseyside and people from Manchester hate they hate each other. So much so it all started during the Industrial Revolution. Liverpool were, were, were considered the biggest shipping yard in England at the time. And uh, yeah, so they were the biggest shipping had the biggest shipping field in United in Liverpool and Manchester was a part of the textiles industry, so pretty much Liverpool would try what Manchester made. That's uh, I guarantee I saw that quote from somewhere. And pretty much sooner or later, it all went it all went tips up <laughs> in terms of British humour. And Manchester bought, made their own harbour, completely cutting out the um, the scousers. So pretty much that's how it really all started. And then. Of course, we're going to go into we're going to go into some quotes. That's like pretty much why they started hating each other. These are some quotes coming in off uh, of actual people. So we got some um, from managers. We have got Bill Shankly, I believe he's the Liverpool manager. If you are first, you are first. If, you, if you're second, you're nothing. And obviously, coming in from ma managers is Sir Alex Ferguson, with probably the most famous quote of his career. My greatest challenge was knocking Liverpool right off their fucking perch, and you can print that. An exact quote about talking about beating the 18 league title perch that Liverpool had, but now, it happened, Man United knocked them off their fucking perch. And that, well, I don't think anyone really printed it there, but anyways, yeah. And then players. Players have had histories of understanding, especially these two players, on talking about how much these two sides hate each other. For example, Man United legend Gary Neville. I can't stand Liverpool. I can't stand the people. I can't stand anything to do with them. And then there was a story from Steven Gerrard, probably the most famous Liverpool player in the modern generation. Talked about how <laughs> talked about how his mate, his one of his mate, his mate had a Brian Robson Man United jersey, and Gerrard decided to put it on. His dad went ballistic, as quoted. It said, it wasn't having the Gerard name dragged through the gutter. They thought they would have had to he thought he would have had to move. Because of how how demeaning that is. And so of course that coming into there's been a lot of big matches between the two. Um, probably the most famous of recent memory was the 3-1 game, Ben Teke screwing a box will kick in the debut of Anthony Martial. And then there was the uh, if I can remember the the game where Mata, you know, Mata went on a ballistic spree, and I'm pretty much just standing like I'm being really biased to United because I support them, but I'm trying not to be. Then there was also the FA, the FA Cup match in 2006, but we're going to go into incidents, like pretty much like incidents that happened, including hooliganism and all that from players. There was the incident between Luis Suarez and Patrice Evra. 
And being a United fan specifically, this is probably the main reason. I didn't know about Luis Suarez biting people before this. I did not... Before... No, but not before. Before... This is why, at the beginning, I hated Luis Suarez. Was... I, I, I can't remember what he said. He said something racist to Patrice Sevra. And it started something, and I think he got banned. He got suspended, but then he came back, and then he played United again, this time at Old Trafford. So the first game was at Anfield. And, like, they were doing... The, the Liverpool players were walking up to do the handshakes, and Luis Suarez completely snubs Patrice Evra. He just ignores him. And then, I believe, at the end of the game, I think United won, and Patrice Evra started celebrating right in front of him when Liverpool were walking off the pitch. And I think Alex, Alex Ferguson quoted saying he should not be playing for Liverpool, going on saying he is a disgrace to the club. Which is, honestly, I mean, like, football's football, and, like... I don't mind some of the Liverpool players, like Steven Gerrard, like, as much as I hate him, I do respect him. But Luis Suarez, that just did it for me. And then there was, um... The fan incident back, I believe in two... It was, it was, a, it was a fair fucking long... It was a long time ago, you know? <laughs> I can't really remember, but, but it was last minute. John O'Shea scored the winner at Anfield, right in front of the cop, and then Gary Neville goes on a bit of a goes starts abusing the Liverpool fans around him and starts kissing the bat, the Man United badge, and he just he just really hated Liverpool, just dead set hated them. And now we're going to get to go into a bit of the darker side of the history and talk about hooliganism or just peak, just both sets of fans being utter twats. In the 1996 FA Cup final, when United won after I think it was a comeback, as United fans, uh, the United players were walking up to receive the trophy at Wembley, a fan, a Liverpool fan, spat at Eric Cantona, and another Liverpool fan tried to punch Alex Ferguson. Like well, fucking what? And then there was the 2006 FA Cup match, which we talked about earlier. I think later on, I think it was 2006. Yeah, I think it was. That was the year that Liverpool won the FA Cup. And at that match against United at Anfield, foreign objects were thrown at the United supporters away end, including actual human shit. Like, is if, uh, and hopefully they would, if, just to make it more sense, I would have loved if they said, oh, this is what you're full of. But like, that's just obviously really disgusting. But you're just making me think, me saying like, oh, just show, you're just showing how Liverpool fans are cunts. No, I can go on about United. At the 2011 FA Youth Cup, United fans were doing ch were mocking ch doing mocking chants about Hillsborough and Hazel. Hillsborough, the Hills, both disasters. Hillsborough is the 96 of those of the fans who died. I think because of um was was squashed to death. And then there was Hazel, where there was massive riots between Juventus and Liverpool fans, which caused a six-year ban for European um England player teams to play in Europe, which is why Everton kind of hate them now, because that was when Everton were in their prime during those six years. And then at March 2016, during the second leg of the Europa League, where United were just shit, um, traveling Liverpool fans were welcomed with a banner on one of the roads saying, murderers, and the date of the Hillsborough disaster. I can understand that like, there's banter between two teams, but to me, honestly, these, like, that's when you just cross the line. Like, this is where it's like, nah, you, you just, you, you just acting like utter assholes. And so that's my opinion on that, apparently. And the last, we're going on to the last meeting was, um, at Anfield, it was a nil-nil draw. Pretty much for that match, nothing happened except David De Gea being the god that he is. How EA have not, you did not give him the goalkeeper team of the year fucking blows my mind but then again they're just really supportive of bloody of the Liga and Danny Alves um, I, I don't want to go on too much about team of the year I'm probably gonna make a video later about it going on saying out hey, this is not fracking fair and some shit like that now who do I think is gonna win to me if you ask me because I'm biased I honestly think United's gonna be but here's the thing the evidence is really stacked up to Liverpool because they haven't won out of the last 10 Liverpool United Liverpool matches at Old Trafford. Eight of them were victories for United, one was a draw, and one was a win for Liverpool. 
So pretty much they're pretty it's all stacked against them. And also United run a 14 or 13 game unbeaten streak and are eight wins in a row. It's really hard to break that form and bearing in mind Liverpool just lost to Southampton in the first leg of the semi-final of the EFL Cup. God, I need a breathe. And so in my opinion, here we go. I believe, and bearing in mind every single prediction I have made, it has always gone down to a draw. Is that surprising? But hopefully that's all going to happen. I'm going to go for a 2-0 United win. Uh, Zlatan to score, and also Wayne Rooney to break Bobby Charlton's record. So that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down what derby I should do next. Uh, the reason why I started doing the derbies was like in the lead up to the actual games, but now I'm just going to be like, well, whichever one gets like top comments, then I'll do them. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.